Hey, what's happening YouTube? It's Steve with Rake and Profit, coming back to you with another video. Today's video, I accumulated a massive haul going out to about three hours worth of tag sales. Did about 20 of them, maybe 15. Not too many today, but came across a lot of good stuff. A lot of DVDs and uh, electronics, board games, stuff for Amazon. Got myself two bikes that I found today, some really sweet deals. And I also have a few more bikes that I found on Craigslist this week. Got a lot of cool stuff, so stay tuned and I'm going to show you how you can make money going to yard sales. So let's get started with the bikes and show you what I found. First bike I paid $10 for at my first yard sale that I went to today. This is a brand that I usually don't purchase much, it's a Mongoose, but it had a nice Manitou fork on it. It was a very nice big size, good tires, and for $10 somebody's going to love this bike for maybe... 60 to 120 dollars when it's uh, cleaned up so that's going to be a very nice score right there next bike that i picked up i found this about a week ago on craigslist and now this is a brand that you want to keep your eye out for this is a killer brand this is specialized and it's a specialized stunt jumper it's got shimano lx dior all around which is an excellent group set it's got a nice manitou fork on it 21 speed does need a new seat, but uh, an excellent bike. Spent $80 on this and spent $15 to put a new chain. So I'm in it for about $95 to $100. And this type of bike is probably marketed value at around $300. Maybe a little more, a little less, but going to make some good cash on that. Specialized. Next bike I picked up at Savers the other day for $40. And this is a 1968 Raleigh Sport very vintage bike pretty good condition not much rust at all a little bend on the uh, exterior part of the frame but not a big deal spent 40 bucks with 30 percent off so about 30 dollars and this bike without the seat is worth around a hundred dollars maybe more maybe a little less but i took the seat off it's a brooks a brooks seat and this seat on this particular model is valued at around 60 to 100 dollars when we get further into the video i'll actually show you the seat and what to look out for on these vintage bikes next next bike is an absolute killer score i spent 35 bucks on this and it's a paramount uh, Bonafide Hustler, if you're watching, let me know. I believe this is made by Schwinn. It's got RX100 gear group set all around. A very light bike, probably only weighs 12 to 15 pounds. Nice skinny tires on it, excellent condition, and 35 bucks. I saw one selling on eBay with better group set for about 1100 so I'm not sure. Let me know. Um, my guess on market value for something like this is between two and maybe six hundred dollars not sure but uh definitely worth a few hundred dollars so if anyone out there is experienced with older bikes this is a series five paramount road bike so let me know what you think all right let's advance on to some other cool items let me start off with an item that i found at savers the other day this is a coffee maker you know this brand and spent i ripped the sticker off but i spent 12.99 Everything works really well, tested it out, and I think I'm gonna sell this on Craigslist for about $75 to $80. Today at a yard sale, found a crazy score. Another one of those brands, this is a Quiznart uh, model. Spent $3 on this, you've gotta be kidding me. Let's see if the tag's still on it. I ripped the tag off, but spent $3, and market value for something like this is probably around $75 to $125. So that's how you uh, make a lot of cash on a coffee maker. All right, also today I did a little bundling. I got this and a board game for $5 in total. This is the Tony Robbins Personal Power Program. This alone is probably worth between 20 and 25. So we're gonna make a few dollars on that. Now this is the seat I was talking about on that Raleigh over there, the 68. This is a Brooks seat this is a b72 model very very good brand of uh seat if you if you want to look for good seats look for brooks and look for turbo now i'm going to sell this individually because it does have good value probably going to get between 60 and 120 not sure somewhere in that range i know for sure all right next item legos everybody knows about these paid a dollar for this and it actually had a few cool things in it had the uh, little cars and the uh, little people inside of it. So for a dollar, looking for about 25 to 30, I'm guessing. Sony Walkman. 
These old rare vintage Walkmans could be worth a lot of cash, especially the metal ones and the ones that look different and odd. Spent 50 cents on this and I haven't tested it yet, but if this is working, market value on eBay is around 60 to $120. And if it's not working, it's probably going to be between 25 and 50 bucks. So for 50 cents, that was spectacular. That's my first real big score on Sony Walkmans. I do usually sell them between 20 and 30, but this one is just super rare and really excited for that. Next item, $10, got a uh, fat PS2. Does have a little damage on the uh, front, but he said it still works. But even with these fat PS2s, there's one guy on eBay, I don't know if he's buying out the market, but I believe he's from New York. You can get 50 to $60 all day long for uh, PS2s, even if they're broken. So 10 bucks after shipping, gonna make around $30, $30 profit. Next item is a brand new in the shrink wrap. This is an Amazon deal right here. Trailer Park Wars board game, brand new. And these are going for about 20 to 25, I believe. Another Amazon deal, Operation, brand new in factory uh, sealed wrap. Spent, I uh, actually got that for $2. I bundled this with the uh, Mongoose bike and spent 12 in total. So this was $2 with the bike and this is going for around 18 to 20 on Amazon with a good rank. Another Amazon deal, Nintendo DS. This is Horse Life. Spent $5 on this and it's going between uh, 17 and $20 on Amazon with a very low rank. A few more uh, Amazon deals. Got a Mickey's DVD and a Tractor Adventures. Spent 25 cents on the Mickey's and I spent a dollar on the Tractor Adventures. These are going between, I think this is going for eight or nine and this is going between 10 and 15. Got this deal thrown in with one of the coffee makers for free. So not sure what it's worth, but 1986 Yankees World Series AL Champions hat. Figure I can get maybe 10 to 20 bucks on that. Here's a McGregor uh, softball baseball mitt. Been having a lot of success with these. Have never sold this brand before, but it's a very nice brand, all leather, excellent condition. They wanted seven and negotiated down to four bucks and got a Scrabble board uh, thrown into it with 100 pieces for four bucks. So this is probably worth about 30 to 40. And I think that's it. Got a whole bunch of cool stuff today. I think I'm gonna make a lot of money. So hope you guys have uh, a great day. Hope you did very well at your uh, thrift stores and yard sales today. Hope you learned a few things. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And check me out at Facebook at Rake and Profit if this helped. And uh, shoot me a question. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Take care.